So you're going to kick start this one, Dave? Yeah, I'm going to kick start. This Go one. on then. Hi everyone, my name's Mike and I'd like to introduce you to video number three in the Lemon Drizzle Gang series on classic bikes that we're doing. Today we're looking at a 1980 uh, Moto Guzzi California, uh, which is really nice bike. Uh, this one has had a hot rodded motor, so it's had a 950 conversion on it, it's got Le Mans heads on it, and the P3 cam, I believe it is. Um, Dave will talk you through it later on in the video, but it goes substantially better than a standard California. So it's a really nice bike. So uh, please watch the video. Um, also, if you haven't seen them, the other two videos that we've done so far are a 1968 Bonneville and a 1972 Beza Rocket 3, which you've got to hear for the sound because it's just magnificent. So if you'd like to keep on watching these videos or come along with us on the journey, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and to click the little bell and um, look forward to uh, producing more videos for you. So this is Dave and he's going to talk to us about his lovely Moto Guzzi. Moto Guzzi? Yes, so... <laughs> guzzy, nice guzzy mate. Yeah, we will be saying guzzy throughout yeah. this, but we do realise that it is Moto Guzzi. Moto Guzzi. So yeah, this is uh, my T3 Cali, California, based on a standard T3. Guzzi um, dolled them up a little bit with their mainly police kit they sold a lot of police what bikes year is this one? so this is the last year they made them they stopped making the t3 i think in about 78 but for reasons various they carried on with the cali up until 1980 or 81 this is a 1980 um, with the wire wheels by that time they were making i think the t4 which had sort of a sparda fairing and and cast wheels um, but this is the last of the rain barrels as they call them the beautiful rain barrels um, standard T3 under the skin, a Cali Mark 1, high bars, should have a screen on it, I've got the screen, very nice in winter, um, but some people think it looks a bit fugly. Um, it's got panniers, laughable panniers, only the Italians could come up with panniers that narrow towards the top, so they're not particularly serious, but they're, they're quite useful. Um, other changes, you've got crash bars, you've got footboards, which are lovely, and a little rack and uh, <laughs> rear crash bar here and that's really the changes to a standard t3 oh and a, what people call the skunk seat the so how, how effective is that for two are i once went to italy with a girlfriend on a previous cali i owned and she reckoned it was the most comfortable seat she'd ever sat on unfortunately she was taking up two-thirds of it <laughs> and she wasn't a big girl so, so i i went to italy sat on a petrol tank basically <laughs> yeah but it's nice Obviously. when you're one up it's a one and a half seat yeah. i guess that's why they call them a buddy seat um so yeah this one isn't standard like a lot of my bikes it's a little bit hot rodded underneath the skin um it doesn't really change the character of the bike it, it goes a bit better but they're never going to be quick bikes because of the aerodynamics and the weight but it's got basically um mark one le mans tune so it's got le mans heads big valve heads it's got 36 mil pump del autos um and it's got uh on this one it's got a p3 camshaft which is a slightly hotter camshaft people think the le mans had a hot camshaft mark one and mark two had the standard what people call the lawn rather sneeringly call the lawnmower cam because it was such a mild grind um, this has got a p3 which is a bit more of a mid-range top end cam and it's got 950 barrels gilladoni 
ah. Gilles Ladonne uh -huh. barrels, which were the manufacturer making for Guzzi anyway. So this is this is a higher spec than, than a, a Le Mans? It is actually, yeah, higher spec than Le Mans with the 950 barrels and the cam. The 950 barrels just add the torque that the hotter cam probably loses down, uh, down low. So it just gets to 70 or 80 a bit quicker really and yeah. happy to cruise all day at 80 really. Standard T3 with a big screen, it, it slows it down a bit. So yeah, but it feels pretty much like And, and how long have you had this bike? I've had it, I don't know, about 12, 15 years. Um, it had had quite a bit of work done beforehand, a lot of stainless on it. Um, I've done mainly cosmetics. I say that during lockdown, stripped it all down, powder coated all the frame, had all that done. Got the magnificent NBS motorcycles who are the go-to guzzy guy in the country, Nigel at NBS. He rebuilt the gearbox, so the gearbox is about as good as you can get on a guzzy. You, you shim them so you haven't got as much end flight on them and it just makes it a much it's nicer got the, uh, rocker It's heel, got the rocker, I forgot to mention that. Because of the footboards you've got a foot pedal there and you've got a heel and toe so that your suede shoes don't get all scuffed oh, yeah. up I, or your police motorcycle boots. Yeah, I, I've ridden it and it, it caught me out. Yeah, yeah. as you'll see. In you the need video. to be a very skillful rider really to, oh, to ride yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, I had it all rebuilt, rear drive and the gearbox rebuilt so it's a lovely change. Um, and obviously I put the cam in and that lot some time ago. So mechanically it's it's going pretty well. Rebuilt all the brakes, all stainless lines, blah de blah de blah. But um yeah, it's going really nicely. Lovely, really nice. I'll get out of the way so you can look. Yeah. See do, do, you it you want, do you want to give it a start? Yeah. I'll so give just it a so start. we can hear yeah. it on the stand. Yeah. Because it does sound lovely. speeders.
Okay, so after that um, expert bit of riding by Dave, uh, it now comes to the bit where I get to ride the bike. Um, so this was filmed probably 12 months ago or more now, um, but I just thought I'd include it because it, it's a, a nice bit of onboard footage, uh, me riding the bike. We're, we're in Wales um, and we set off from Betis Coed and uh, I think we go to Kerrigadridian. So we're along the A5, but it, it gives you a good impression of what it's like to ride the bike and I do quite a terrible job of riding it, but I hope you find it amusing. Um, also, the um, quality, it was taken on a different camera, so the, it's not quite so peachy creamy as these videos, so apologies if the, if the quality of the video isn't quite, it's alright, but it's not quite as good as... Um, as the ones that you've been looking at. Okay, take it away, Mike. <laughs> Get out of it, wasp. God, that ticks over nicely, doesn't it? But that's what I'm saying, it, it does, but when you come stop after launching it, it seems to flop a bit. All oh, right. It could be discarded. See what I mean? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not working, hang on. No, it did then. It flashed. Oi! Like a bloody cement mixer. Alright. I'll follow you out. Hey? I'll follow you out. Sometimes it needs, I don't know, just starting it from wall. A little bit of choke just lift it up a bit. Alright. This feels so weird. This is handlebar position more than anything. The world's fastest wheelbarrow. <laughs> this is nice. The mouse is lovely. God knows how the indicators work. Stalled it. <laughs> Which ones are the indicators? All oh, right, okay. Lovely engine on it. Yeah, it's a bit fluffy. All oh, right. Petrol tab. I don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, I'd forgotten. Yeah, that's and the same on the other side. <laughs> no, I know you're saying it was fluffy, but I thought. <laughs> I went, oh, that's going to fluff any minute, and it was going. <laughs> <laughs> this is no neutral light, remember? Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So, and this is comparatively foible free for a classic. It's best to use that hand on the starter button. All oh, right, yeah, so you can.
have to say the engine feels surprisingly modern when it's got petrol of course it's going to take a bit of getting used to Nice. Oh yeah, it's really, really smooth. The seat's comfy. I'd love a T3. Well, this is a T3, but a uh, Yeah, don't overtake yet. <laughs> Not used to it yet. Yeah, I'd love a um, a non Cali T3. up well though, it's got plenty of go very unsure of the handling but there's nothing wrong with it Yeah, the seat, the uh, handlebar position makes it a bit hard to be smooth on it. It's actually, it's, it is good. It's very, it is smooth on a smooth bend. It's really good. Deceptively quick as well. <laughs> Find where the friggin' gear changes. <laughs> I'm riding it like an old lady. It's a lovely engine. I love this. <laughs> yeah, with with bars that were a bit more um, less ape hangery. Oops, <laughs> messed up the gears. This is a riot.
the engine's got so much more character than the uh, than the grease though. Um, it handles very well the taunting frame you can feel it's um, it's just the weird handlebars and the uh, the way you're kind of scrunched up like a a monkey on a tennis ball My classic bike of choice would be a something with an engine like this and this frame. I reckon people must have been smaller back in the 70s. Lovely bike. That is really nice. Alien and weird. Because <laughs> you see me bloody... <laughs> and I cocked up the gears. <laughs> I think I'm a bit big for it. I'm only a bit. I thought you'd look ridiculous on it, but you don't. You look fine on it. Lovely engine. Yeah? Lovely engine, isn't it? Yeah. Guzzy. Guzzies. Yeah. You know, original guzzies. And it's just been slightly diluted each generation. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah. You know. It's a nicer engine than that. In a way it is. Yeah. It's got more character, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work as well. Yeah. And, you know, that feels ridiculously smooth. Yeah, yeah. This, you just feel it's like somebody with a kettle drum going, yeah. Quicker. Yeah, it's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> and then you get that intake drone that you see yeah. in the Le Mans. Yeah. 